All right, Shalom, my camp. It's a high spirit we in Judah of the Jim S. Mississippi camp. Giving our honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashan of Shai, Bashan of I also want to give double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops, the great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings out the world and to the house of David the elect. All right, speaking of health and wellness, you know, I want to go into a topic entitled, you know, Christianity clouds you from good sense. All right? Because going back into health and wellness, praying over your food won't unclog your arteries. All right? Praying over your pork, praying over your catfish, it's not going to unclog your arteries, man. All right? The Most High gave us a dietary law, okay, to 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 basically maintain our health. All right? The Most High didn't intend for us to eat his sanitation workers. You don't eat the maintenance workers of the planet Earth, along with other laws that Christianity tells you you don't have to keep because of this misconception that uh, the Messiah came back to do away with the laws. As a matter of fact, let me get that right quick. Okay? See, ultimately, these religions, all right, mainly Christianity, because that's the centerpiece of confusion right now, all right, they basically blind you and cloud you from really good sense, man. All right? Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. And that's our big brother, Yahweh Shai speaking. All right? Because there's so many laws and there's so many prophecies within the laws to speak of Yahweh Shai in which he had to fulfill while he, were, while he was on the planet Earth. But, and, and also... He said, um, I came not to destroy the law. All right, so contrary to popular belief, the Most High still has an expectation of his people to maintain the laws and to keep the laws, man. All right? Especially the ones who have awakened, okay? But we're just not held bound to the law. As in, if we break a law, we have, we have to make a sacrifice, uh, animalistic sacrifice, man. Yahweh Shai became that, 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 that sacrificial lamb. Okay, but we still allowed to keep the laws. Let me also get that Matthew 23 and 1. It says, Then spake Yahweh shot to the multitude and his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore, all therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe, that you observe and do, but do not after their works, for they say and do not. But what does that mean? The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All right, they they are responsible for the law, studies, and commandment being administered, right? But they themselves don't follow the laws, okay? But the Yahweh Shai said, "Do as they say," because what are they? What do they say to do? The laws, the laws given to us by way of Moses, all right? On uh, uh, by way of Moses or through Moses by way of Yahweh Bashem Shai, okay? But the point is, we're still to keep the laws, including a dietary law. In Christianity, it clouds you from good sense, man. Praying over these abominations won't unclog your arteries, man. All right? Talking to a married woman, talking about the Lord, know your heart. All right? That's not, that's not going to keep you from getting judged, man. Okay? You know, real, real wicked shit that Jake be on, man. All right? Walking around uh, with your titties out all day every day, but talking about you got a personal relationship with so called God, all right? That's 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 not that's not gonna get you right with the Most High, man. Okay, all this theoretical non accountability bullshit that you that you uh, that comes with this religion that you love so much because it requires zero discipline, man. Okay, but once again. Christianity clouds you from just good judgment and good sense, man. Like, no, you don't eat bottom feeders of the sea or uh, uh, fish that the Most High created to be a filtering system. No, you don't eat the swine, which is a natural, uh, basically sanitation worker, man. All right. Like I said, no, you don't just go off your feelings and and use the concept of God. As a as a as bait to to reel in your will with people, man. Yeah, I believe God put it on my spirit. You know, uh, God know my heart. Basically, listen, you know, it's that's you, you basically are, are wolves, man. 
your wolves in sheep's clothing, man. Because you throw smoke in somebody's face as soon as you mention the word God, man, or love. All right, God, place it on my spirit. Hey, this year is going to be a good year for you, you know. That you, uh, you know, God going to give you so much more. All right. That, that, that prosperity doctrine. But you're not mentally building our people up for the times to come. And also, you don't you and now I'm talking about the pastors. You don't tell our people who they are. You don't connect them back to their power, man. You're basically set up by the elites to keep the keep keep us in slavery, man. Spiritual, mental, physical. Keep us in a state of dependence, uh, dependency of our uh, oppressors, man. All right, because you can't take Christianity off the grid and apply that shit, man. You can't take the New Testament off uh, off the American grid and apply it, man. You're going to be through. All right? Then you see the power of what they call the Old Testament. All right? Because there was a whole complete system that governed every facet of our being, man. All right? But in Christianity, it's not so. You basically assimilated into your enemy's uh, kingdom. And you're basically, through Christianity, are taught to basically comply. Be good employees, man. But with that, I hope you brothers and sisters were edified. Till the next time, shalom.